Hello everyone, welcome back to this house of fashion. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today's outfit so is going to be the how to cut this amazing dawn suit. The dawn that I'm talking about is not a normal dawn it's an off shoulder with a pop sleeve. I can see how the sleeve is. And it has a straight to the knee. And from that knee, it has a bugle split. Yeah, yeah, I will be cutting it um, like a flay. Then the circumference of the flay will be will be excess so that I can make it to I can use that to make a pleat around the nail or a gathers. So I'm using this pattern to cut it out. After this you can place it on the fabric that you should try it on. So the first thing I'll be doing here is to cut out the half cut. It has an half cut of off shoulder. So let's assume I'm folding this into four places, leaving a zip allowance. So after putting this into four places, let us my let a zip allowance here. Yeah? So let me take the shoulder measurement, the shoulder measurement of 7.5 inches with the seam allowance. Her ammo, this is an up shoulder, so I'll be taking five inches up. You can see the ammo, the up shoulder is very wide. So I'll be using so make the ammo to be two inches. So let me take 5.5 inches up. Then yeah, 7.5 inches. That is one in two inches. So the next thing I'll be taking here is the bust measurement. The bust measurement is 36 inches. That is nine. Nine in four places is going to be 36 inches. With the same allowance of two inches. So from here now, we're taking the measurement of the half cost. The half cost is 16 inches with the seam allowance. From here, this is 16 inches. This is 16 inches. The 5.5 inch, the 5 .5 inches will be up here. 16 inches is here. So the bust measurement, the waist measurement here is going to be 30 inches. That 7.5 in four places is going to be about 30 inches. With the same allowance of two inches. Then the next thing here is to connect the lines together. So now the next thing I'll be doing here is to cut it out. So now, here is the half cut. This is the half cut. The front half cut. This is the front. So you can as well use this to cut the back. Then you, you left and then you are going to leave a zip allowance of any inches of the choice. So this is the front here. So the next thing I will cut in here is the is the trouser aspect of the dump suit. So, this is, after putting it into two, this way, I'm, I'm going to use this to cut the front um, trouser, not the back, the front trouser. So, the first thing I'll be doing here is to take the waist measurement, the flap measurement, the hip point. The hip measurement and the length of the trouser before the uh, that the that is from the waist to the knee. So let me start from the from the flap. The flap measurement I'll be using two inches here. Two inches. So from here now I'll be taking the waist measurement of thirty inches. This is 7.5 30 inches with a seam allowance of two inches that is the seam allowance of two inches the two inches is here so here the flap measurement from the waist is 30 inches let me assume it's 30 inches so that means i'll be taking 
15 inches for the front, then 15 inches for the back. Then I'll be adding allowance to the back because of the um, bottom at the back. So, this is 15 inches. How can we get 15 inches? We have to determine it. 15 inches. So I can decide to let this go back a little bit. So let me start from here so I can get the flap measurement. 15 inches. Like this. So let's treat it. So this is 15 inches. So from this 15 inches and from the from this particular area now we'll be taking 7.5 inches for the waist measurement, then two inches of seam allowance. Let's ignore all these two ignore this point. This is the main measurement here. Yeah? So from here now we'll be taking the hip point. From the waist, so let us on the hip point is seven inches. The hip point. So the mesh, the wideness of the hip here will be thirty-eight inches. That is nine point five inches. So the, the same allowance of two inches. So you can see. Then I'm going to connect the lines together like this. This is the same allowance, this is the main measurement. So from here now, from the waist to the knee, where the play is going to the flight is going to start from. Let us assume it's 20 inches. This is 20 inches. So let me connect all the lines together. From the flap here, I'll make a slant line. You can set to measure the wideness of the knee here because it's a fitted, so you have to take the measurement of the wideness of the knee. So that is when you get to know where to shape it to. So the wideness of the knee we have in here. This is. Uh, this is 10.5 inches that is 20 that is 20 this is for the front so that is 21 inches for the landing up so why so you need you can decide to shape it to the fit uh, to fit the knee so the next thing i'll be doing is to cut it out so this is not the the main measurements as long as I'm using the main measurement from the waist to the knee, it's going to go down a little bit than this. So I just assume this length. Now, this is the two fronts. I'll take one of these to cut the back. So, to cut the back, I'm taking one of these, one of the fronts to cut out the back. So after placing it here, like this, so the back trouser is going to be longer at the center here at the center of the back than the front trouser and is usually going to be is usually bigger than the front uh, measurement so that's all what i'll be showing you here so i'll be adding 1.5 inches to the main measurement like here One point five inches. One point five inches. So now I'll be connecting the lines together. So this area must be equal to the front bone. So then from here you get to make a curve line. To the waist, yeah. That's it.
this one, yeah. So like this, you can see it. These are the difference between the front and the back. With the this with the with this um half one and a half inches. So that is different. That's that is going to make it different from the front measurement. So the next thing here is to cut it out. So the allowance is not going to apply to the waist at the hip point here. The allowance is not going to apply to the to the side measurement here. So the side measurement is going to be the same. You can see it. Then I'll be cutting it out. This is the pattern for the back, and this is the front. You can see, you can see it's wider than the front. You can see. So the next thing that I need is to cut out the the flay at the knee side. So the flay at the knee side, I'll be doing this to cut it. I'll be folding it into four. Then I'll make it a flay. This is into two places. Then it's going to be a flay, a full flay. It's not going to be a triangle flay, the full flay. So this is going to be a full flay. So make it full, as you can see it on the picture. So you're going to use a four points here that you are going to make excess, so as to make it a place or a gathers around the, the around the knee side. So you're going to take the measurement from the knee to the to the full length that's for the from the name to the length to the full length so let, let's assume the actual measurement the radius of the name is eight so i will apply it to multiply it by two or you can even add more to it it depends on how it depends on the fabric you are using try to make it full as the way you're seeing it on the thumbnail two inches for instance Two inches. So I'm taking two inches for this. It's not a common. It's not a. It's not the actual measurement. So I'm just taking two inches. So it's not the actual measurement. So you can see it's the circumference of the knee. So let me cut it out before I can take the length. After cutting it, I'll, I'll be taking the length, the full length, the length of the, the length of the jumpsuit from the knee. So then I'll do is twelve inches. So this is twelve. Twelve. Twelve inches. Twelve inches. Twelve inches. Then I'm going to connect the lines together. So then I'll be cutting it up. So by the time you open it, you can see how full it is. So you're going to join. You're going to cut it into two. Okay, you're, going to make, you're going to use this to make a pleat around the knee. So it's going to be now. So it's going to be full when you cut it like this. Just make sure this length on the knee 
it's going to give you the extra when you join it together then your the full length is going to complete so you can see so the next thing i mean is to cut the sleep so i'll be using this to make the illustration of the sleep so what you have to do is just to cut a straight um a straight cut then the length is going to be wide you can see it has a it has an elastic cover at the uh, mouth here which is going to which you're going to attach to the shoulder it has an elastic at the elbow side so you have to put an elastic here and here so by folding it into four places as many uh, uh, like uh, so yeah, if you got over two sleeves so you're folding it into four places let's let go this has been folded in four places then i'm going to cut it out so what I want to cut here is not much. Just make sure that when you are leaving two, you are leaving five inches up. The remaining, um, the remaining ammo, you are going to add it here. Like you left five inches up. Let me show it to you. So you can also take the, um, the the airport. You can take it here and use it to cut the ammo of the sleeve like this. So it should be equal. Then I'll be cutting it out. So like this. So the mini length here is going to have an elastic to squeeze it to the shoulder. So here also is going to have an elastic too. So just make sure if you want it to be bogus like the way you're seeing it on the picture, make sure the measurement you're using here is wide, then it's long. So by the time you're putting by the time you put the elastic over, it will form the exact size. So now this is the front. This is the two fronts. So I'll be joining the two fronts together for you to see how you're going to join it. Then you're going to join it to the Half cut. This is the half cut. The front half cut. The front half cut is going to be here, and this is the tray that is going to attach to the uh, to the part of the jumpsuit. This is it. And this is the ammo. And this is the sleeve. So by the time you put an elastic here, you put an elastic here too. It's going to it's going to form the top sleeve. You're going to attach it to the ammo here. Yeah? So this is how it's going to start. You can see. So now this is the joining of the waist and the trouser. You can see. So the next thing you're going to do is to take one of these. So you cut it this twice. And so this is a single play for a single um side of the trouser here, yeah? side of the knee. So again, you are going to join this to the knee here. Yeah. So you are going to cut another one, then join it to the other knee here. Yeah. And this is the. This is the sleeve. Then you are going to put an elastic cover. So you can see how simple and beautiful this is. So don't forget, you start a. Uh, you are going to put a dart to make it fit in at the waist, at the um, half cut here. Yeah. So if you're watching for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so as to know whenever I upload the main tutorial with the fabric. And for those people that have been watching me so far, I really appreciate you guys for following my video. Thank you for watching. See you in my next class. Bye!